Let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think. Good. Right then, everyone. Welcome back to Food Review Club. My name's Matt. Um, and if you're new to the page, hello, welcome. Nice to have you here. Give us a like, give us a share, give us a follow, give us whatever you can. Now, we're taking it back to basics today. Have a look at this. Um, you may have seen last week that we did a wonderful review of some Wagyu beef. Now, today, we have got something that you've probably got in your freezer at the moment. We've got these incredible pork chops from Days of Buckton in our weekly butcher delivery. And I reached out to my chef friend, Steve Barringer. Hello, by the way, thank you for your help. And he actually talked us through how to make some pork chops. Incredible. I've never really cooked them that well. I'm not a great cook, as you boys, guys can probably work out. But I reached out to him and said, look, Steve, how can I make these incredible? And it opened my mind to uh, prepping the meat before, having a little think about what you should be doing before you do it. We actually marinated these with one of Steve's recipes last night. Garlic, thyme, rosemary, oil, did it in a pestle and mortar, made a kind of a paste, dried the pork chops off before fry, pan searing, and then finishing off in the oven. Now the proof, as, as always, is in the pudding. So let's have a look at one of these. Excuse my blunt knife, by the way. If anyone out there has got a knife contact, now we're doing more cooking stuff. I need better utensils. <laughs> All right, let's get into this, shall we? Let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think. Look at this piece here, look, this fatty piece. Wow. So, here we go. Let's give that a go. Now, first thing I want to say is this, I don't think we've ever cooked anything that's given our, our house, can you verify this please, yeah. yes, so much aroma. I think in the paste we used a whole clove of garlic. It was just like amazing. Whole, a whole bulb. A whole, not a clove, did I say a clove, did I? Yeah. A clove, a whole bulb of garlic was used. Um, and you can see it, like it's gone in, the marinade is there. And it's got these crispy bits on the outside. But is it moist? It's so easy to overcook pork. It's like butter. I'm so happy. <laughs> we didn't mess it up. <laughs> we didn't mess it up. Steve, I love you. <laughs> See on this step. Be beautifully cooked. Still got all that moisture trapped on the inside. Days of Buckton too. What a quality cut of meat this was. These were really thick. Obviously they're reduced in size up now because we've been in the oven, but. That garlic, the salt, the seasoning, the butter, butter based in. This was really nice for us guys. One end of the spectrum, we've got Wagyu beef, fairly expensive, fairly unobtainable for some people. We, we know it's not something that we have on our Wagyu fillets. It's not something we have on our plate every week, that's for sure. Pork chops, m much more of a staple, everyday meat. And with a little bit more time, care and attention, check them out, look. I'm just quietly smashing in some pork quite sure looking at the food. A little more time, care and attention. I think it goes a long way in the kitchen. Thanks for watching everyone. Once again, thanks to Steve Barringer for the help last night, my friend, I love you. I'm on my cooking journey a little bit, guys. Uh, and also thanks to Days of Buckton for supplying us with some incredible meat. If you're liking this content, guys, and wanna see more of it, Show us, get in the comments, give it a like, give it a share if you can. If you're watching on YouTube, give us a subscribe. Instagram, bless up, you're where all the cool kids live. On Facebook, you're my homies. Um, homies, what did I say? <laughs> this is that my life. You're, yeah, bro. All right, guys. That's it. That's a wrap. That is 
pork a la food review club bless up thanks for watching